Hey guys, Dave here. I'm uh, going to take a look at this new program. It's called WinX HD Video Converter Deluxe. And this is, I'm coming to find to be one of the best converters out there for all your media needs. Um, it's going to be a video editor and it even is a YouTube downloader. Uh, let me show you some of the features here. Uh, I'll start off by saying the one thing that I haven't found this is uh, able to do is maximize the full screen size. I don't know why you minimize it and close it out. Uh, you got lots of buttons up here, but none of them are to maximize the screen to the full size. All right, getting into what it can do, uh, you can either click the button up here, Video Plus, or right on the uh, screen here, and this is where you can actually add a video if you want to go to the folder. Otherwise, you can just simply grab, drag, drop, and it's up there. Moves it real quickly. It shows you what you've done recently, if you have done anything. Otherwise, you can just go to General. And it gives you all these ideas of, uh, of the different formats it can do. I think I remember saying it took up to like 360 different um, inputs and was allow you to convert it to 180 outputs uh, along with uh, audio and so forth. So uh, you do have some option here for lower quality but faster made to higher quality takes longer to make. So um, this is the audio outputs where you can choose what kind of audio you want to do. You can also do it specific to a device. If you're going to do it for your own device you just want uh, video off YouTube and send it to a certain Android device. Um, that's the pad. Uh, mobile device, HTC, mobile device, and you get straight off YouTube and you can you have it sized up for your phone, which that is pretty awesome. Uh, I'll get into that though. Uh, duh, 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 okay, so here's the video of me. And from this point, um, they got an info that gives you information about the, uh, the actual video as it's been input. Uh, you can pretty much it tell if you have sometimes videos come up and they actually have multiple different um, resolutions, uh, audio settings, and this is where you would actually be able to highlight them there. Um, this is what I'm choosing to send it as a the target is general HTC mobile video. I can change that if I want to. Um, it gives me some frame rate information here, resolution. Um, but by changing this, I'm, I'm probably going to mess up the output a little bit as far as what it was meant for. So, but if maybe you're having problems, maybe that's what you want to do is increase the frame rate or the audio or something. Uh, so getting back into it, you can throw it away or move it up and down. The reason you might move it up and down is because you can put another video up here. Um, that wasn't a video. This is a video, and you can move them around that world that way. So uh, easy to delete off. You can rename the file, uh, edit. That's where hey you can guys, get into. Oh, yeah. Here's okay. a new review of this. So I'll start them all off. Hey guys, Dave here. So you're able to play the video, fast awesome forward it. Um, you are able to adjust the audio volume, the subtitles you can add in. You can crop the video. Um, and let's see, you can trim the video so you can actually cut out the parts you need. So you can basically eliminate the fact that you're going to take in pretty much any uh, input file, uh, any format, and you can send it out in nearly all these different formats. You can trim it, you can crop it, uh, you can have subtitles to it, uh, quite a bit of things. You can then add more videos to it and compile those. Um, and you have the high quality engine and deinterlacing uh, to help with the quality of the videos. It's like the CPU core use, which uh, it'll show your maximum here. Um, so if you have a four core user system, it'll show four. But if you don't want to use all four and you just want this running background, you can minimize it. If you want to just use the max, it'll be there. Uh, you can see where your folder is going to browse to, um, where basically you're going to be able to send your destination finished file. We'll go ahead and run this just so you can see. We'll see even set some uh, some things on here. If your original file is interleaving video, the advanced deinterlace accelerator can make your video much cleaner. Let's go ahead and hit that run. Gotta wait a couple of seconds. It's offering a deal at 35.95. Let's go ahead and see how well this does on these uh, two cores. So right now it's looking pretty Pretty as, as a short file, um, but even with that short file, it's running an average of 51 frames right there, and I'm done. That 
if you guys ever convert files, it's kind of unheard of. It takes a while to convert files. It, it doesn't normally go as quick as that. Um, so that that's pretty awesome. Next to uh, do a YouTube, uh, you can either click on this or the above. Uh, click on this, you're going to paste a URL, URL uh, and have it analyzed. This is going to come back with all the different resolutions and format, size and code of the video that it found. Uh, just takes a moment here. Once it comes up, you can select which one you want to basically download and which format you want it to format in. I'm going to take the one I recently put up. Uh, i go for 360 MP4. Click that one. Hit OK. Make sure the which format I want to put it in. I'm going to go ahead and put it in the HTC Mobile. Hit OK. Uh, you are not able to edit this uh, or get info, but you can rename or choose which one you want to put it in. Uh, you then hit the Run. Wait the five seconds, uh, or just pay the $35.95 and get the awesome program. As you can see there, uh, it's found its program. It's going to take a minute. Uh, now it is downloading it, I believe. Nope, the first one was downloading it, the second one was converting it. So, and there we go. Alright, and then it tells you how, yeah, it's just trial version stuff there. So that's how you do that. You can hit the clear to get rid of that. Uh, you can also do uh, DVDs uh, from the DVD. You have a couple options here. Uh, what language, audio, uh, open the output when finished. Shut down the computer when finished. Check for updates is all the time if you want to constantly check in. Uh, your output folder and snapshot because you can take snapshots with a snapshot button. Uh, there's where you register. Check your new version. This is the email. So you can send an email uh, to them or just view log. What they pretty much say you can get a lot of frequently asked questions. Hitting this and hitting the help will bring up some more options. Mostly what I've gone over already but some more greater detail. So definitely worth something to check out guys. Um, in fact, this is going to be my first giveaway. Uh, with this review, I'm going to try to get five uh, giveaways of this program software. How can you get in the uh, first giveaway? First, you want to subscribe. Second, you want to comment. Uh, comment anything you want. If I see a comment in there, I'm going to enter you in uh, to win. So um, you only need one comment. Uh, multiple comments will still only count as one. But uh, go ahead and uh, hit that subscribe. Make a comment, and you'll be entered to uh, get the software. Once uh, we have our winners, I'll contact you with a uh, code uh, to enter in. Thanks for watching, guys.